Alright, how are we doing today? So, I just saw a video where uh, Sal was showing off how to do Digi Peak skips uh, using like rocket jumpers and stuff like that. And I know for most people, they consider rocket jumping to be very unaccessible for them, personally. Either just not wanting to learn the skill because it's a little bit like awkward to learn, or just not wanting to spend the time to farm the rocket launcher out. So I'm just going to show off grenade versions of the skips and how you can get through just without a rocket jumper. Now our first skip is right here. We can throw a grenade about here to where it lands there. And then we'll just want to land hopefully up top. If you don't land up top you can also land on that little slope right there and that's totally fine. If you land on that slope, you just throw another grenade against the slope, back up a little bit so you don't hit your head on this platform, and then just grenade jump right on top. Alright, I went ahead and cleared out the area. We'll go ahead and start with our first jump, throw a grenade, and then you'll land up here. If you don't, once again, just land on that slope, throw something against the edge there, and you should be fine. The second jump is really harsh sometimes, so if you fail this jump, you will probably land back down on the ground and you'll have to retry it a couple of times. But if you make it up here, you can just run through this solid wall here, you'll drop down, that's not a problem. You skip this area with Scorch, you skip Dukino's arena, you skip the Black Queen area, and then if you have movement speed, you can just run and jump and land right on that platform down there. You could also use a grenade, I'm just going to use the Bada Boom because I have it equipped already and it's convenient for me. You land here, and then for this area, you could clear out the mobs, it might honestly be easier for you, but if you're really lucky, or if you're really good with the jumps, you can do a double nade sink right there, and land on top of that platform right there. If you manage to do this, you can go ahead and just skip this part of the map, try to throw one right here, I might get downed for this, yeah I will. Here, let me do some clearing, I'll get right back with you. Alright, I went ahead and cleared out pretty much most of the rest of this area. So from here, if you fall down while you're clearing, you can go ahead and just do a grenade jump right here to get back on top of this little roof. And then from here, you'll just need to do your double nade jump. So about there. And that'll land you right on top of here. You might be able to do that with one nade, it looked like I pretty much got it with one. And then you just run across here, run over, and you went ahead and skipped this doorway. I, honestly, it might be easier to just clear all the mobs and go through the door in most instances, but if it's really rough, like Bonehead's just giving you the worst time, you might want to try that skip. Alright, so from here, just jump across here. As long as you don't touch the floor or get too low to the ground here, the mobs don't spawn. You just run along here, get over here, and you might theoretically be able to do a grenade jump from here over there. You might need a double nade for that. I'm going to do a safer way, which is just throw a nade here, get on top of here, throw a nade to land about there, and you can skip up here. Alright, so that'll get you to assassins. You can clear out until you're done with the assassins. And then whenever you are done with that, we will go ahead and show off skips for the other areas of the map. Alright, so you've done your first couple Digipeak skips, you've made it to the Assassins, you've cleared them out, and now the back area of the map is open. From here, if you've done Assassins and that back door opens up, I would definitely just recommend save quitting there. There are a couple more skips you could employ to go ahead and give yourself an easier time. But it's honestly just faster to just quit from there and then try to do skips from this area instead. Now, if you have a bada boom, you can of course do the grenade jump right here with the bada boom. It'll get you right over this wall. That doesn't exist for you though because, you know, you don't have one or you didn't feel like learning the skill yet. So instead, what you need to do, and this is kind of a tight little awkward jump, is grenade jump from here and land right here. Now the reason this is a problem is because there is a wall right here. It is actually really tight. This is an area that Kriegs will typically use if they want to do peak skips, which is really rough for them as well, by the way. And then from here, you have two options. 
you can do your jump to this area down here to get the binary. Now, if you have bada booms, of course, you could do a skip from here and get on that platform, which is a little bit nicer. And then that'll be for your binary levels. But for the two levels that the peak run ends here, you'll need to just do it here. This is going to be a lot more tough. It might require a sink jump. It might require some movement gear. Pretty much anything that you can use to your advantage here would be pretty nice to have. Of course, you could just, you know, bada boom, get it done. But this is for the nade people. Right, this first jump here is really, really, really rough. Uh, the problem with it is there is a kill barrier that is really high here. And so if you don't make the jump, the game will just kill you outright. If you land too low, it'll probably also kill you. So here it's really, like, really difficult and awkward to learn. But you're going to have to just figure out how the geometry of the area works and just keep giving it tries until you get it. I'll go ahead and do a few attempts here and I'll show off the one that works and it should just work with the sink jump. If you can't get the sink jump, I'd probably just recommend getting the bada boom at that point and getting a grog. You could probably make it without even needing to double shot. Maybe a drunk effect and a single nade would do it. Something like that. Alright, and just like that, we have made it over. I hate to say that that took quite a few attempts there, but you just run down here, clear out your mobs, you'll do this for two OP levels, and then you will move on to the next route. Alright, so you've done your two levels of OP over here, now it's time for binary. If you think you're up to it, if you have the movement speed gear, or you just have movement speed from kill skills and your name is Axton, and you can, you know, just trigger them whenever you want, you might be able to do a double nade sync to here. But we're not going to show that because it's just really unrealistic for people to try it. The more realistic option is this nice lower area. This is where a Krieg would jump if they were really sweating it out trying to get peak level skips done you could do it this way all right i'll go ahead and give it a few tries and once again i'll just show you guys the one that works and then that should be all of your peak skips pretty much done for nade only Alright, and just like that, you have done this skip. Now from here, it's pretty simple, just run up to here. If you're the only person in your lobby, it'll allow you to go ahead and use that elevator. And then you've got your binary boss, you kill him, and then you're good to go. You just do that until you get your last OP levels done, and then you have hit OP 10 using grenades only for your skips. Have fun, good luck, uh, some of the sync jumps are hard, I believe in you, bye.